I would like to demonstrate how easy it is to operate the integrated safety functions in the Cinemix G120. What I have here is our demo case with the control unit CU240 E-2 PNF, the power module PM340 and the one LA7 asynchronous motor. Before we begin, the demo case has the following parameters. The digital input 1 starts the motor and we can change the motor speed via the analog input. The safety inputs on the demo case have no effect on the speed or functionality of the motor. We now want to use these safety inputs to activate the safety functions in the drive. As an example, let's use the safe stop 1 function, which lets us quickly stop the motor and turns it off with the STO safe talk off function. To do this, I use the commissioning tool starter. I'm already online with the CU240. Under functions, safety integrated, we can set and change the safety functions in the drive. I select the extended function via onboard terminals. SS1 is an extended integrated safety function. In a Cinemix G120 CU240E failsafe, only safe talk off is a basic function. I'll assign the safety function input to the appropriate input settings. We want to use SS1 and assign failsafe digital input 2 to the functionality. We do not want to use any of the other functions, which is why we deactivate them. Statistically inactive. Now we set up the gear settings. Since we have an encoderless safety function, we must enter the number of pole pairs into the speed ratio. We specify which ramp is to be monitored in the SS1 settings. This is normally set in the same way as OFF3, that is, I'll change the monitoring time to 0.5 seconds. Now I'll enable the safety functions and copy the parameters. Since we are parameterizing safety settings, all the parameters in the drive are redundant. The copy process writes this data to the second parameter. Now I can activate the settings. A password is always required for entering the safety functions. The default password is zero, and we will not change it here. We would, of course, change it in a real application. Now we are asked whether we want to copy RAM to ROM. This is always necessary, since the drive must be turned off after we change the safety functions. With RAM to RAM, the data is now saved. Now I'll go offline and turn off the drive. And turn it on again. Once the drive has started up, we can try to turn the motor on. Of course, that doesn't work, because the safety input for SS1 is not activated. So we activate the input, enabling us to run the motor. If we now remove the input, the motor immediately stops and shuts down. This is how we activate the safe stop one safety function in the drive. That's all there is to it.